the momentum of a particle when viewed in one frame s will look different when viewed in another frame s prime, which is moving along the x-axis relative to s. Let's assume that s prime moves in the positive x direction with some speed v. And suppose we have a particle moving in the frame s that has a velocity vector u, or we could say it has a momentum vector p. The observer in s knows how to write down its momentum because it can make a measurement, but the observer in s prime might come up with a somewhat different value for the momentum p and would instead report it as p prime. If we use the relativistic formula for the addition of velocities, there are two velocities in this picture. There's u as reported by observer in s for what this particle is doing, and then there's v, the velocity between the two frames, and that gives me u prime as viewed in s prime. Using that addition of velocity formulae, it's possible to show the following four relationships. First, p, the momentum component in the x direction along the s, uh, in the s prime frame, so as px prime, is related to the momentum component in the x direction in s by gamma px times c minus beta e, where gamma and beta in this case refer to the transformation between the two frames. So beta is v over c, and gamma is the 1 over the square root of 1 minus that beta squared. The y component and z component of momentum will be unchanged, it turns out, and the energy in this new frame, s prime, will be related to gamma times the energy in the unprime frame minus beta px times c. These formulae are amazingly the same as the Lorentz transformation formula for the coordinates x, y, z, and time, where time is analogous to energy and x, y, and z are related, are analogous to px, py, and pz. This means that energy and momentum taken together create a four vector. Its four components will together uh, move or transform into a new four vector, much like a rotation uh, for a three-dimensional vector where its length is unchanged. Remember in the case of the four vector for space and time, there was an invariant quantity under Lorentz transformations. It was s squared is ct squared minus x squared y minus y squared minus z squared. In the same way, there will be an invariant for the momentum and energy vect four vector. And it's tempting to write down that that invariant will take the form e squared minus pxc squared minus pyc squared minus pzc squared. And we'll call that invariant for now x. What is x? Well, if we think back to our formula for energy for a single particle, and remember that e squared plus p squared, or e squared is equal to p squared plus m squared, then this x is just mc squared. So by saying that there is an invariant, we're saying that all observers, no matter what reference frame, will agree on the mass for a particle, no matter what frame they're in. 